Hello, Salaja here. In this video, my CPU is going to be running a program that implements division. But first, I'm just giving an overview of my CPU from the air, as some people have been asking to see what it looks like. You've got the screen down there. That's the switches where we input values to the program memory, which is here. The registers are behind this, and we can't actually see them at the moment. The ALU is over there, and that's the adder that sticks out. Well, that's one way to get down. Alright. First, let's do some division. Let's divide 17 by... 5. 17 divided by 5. Now unfortunately the program does not handle decimals. So we'll get a value over here and we'll get a remainder. So in this case 17 divided by 5 we will expect 3 on this side and 2 over here because 17 divided by 5 is 3 and 2 remainder. Unfortunately this does take a very long time so I'll probably skip ahead here. One four. What did I actually divide? I divided Oh, I divided 9 by 5. Well, in that case, that's still the right answer, because 9 divided by 5 is 1 and 4 remainder. Let's try again, this time doing what I meant to do last time. So, 17 divided by 5. While there's something on the screen, I'll also demonstrate the uh, screen clear function. You can reset all the values on the screen, and that will set it back to all zeros. And there we go. That's the answer I expected first time, but I put it in wrong. So here, 17 divided by 5 is 3, and 2 remainder. Let's do one more. Let's do... Let's do 1 divided by 3. And there's the answer. 1 divided by 3 is 0, and 1 remainder. My program, the program I've written onto the CPU does have some limitations, however. You cannot divide by 0, because it will simply go into an infinite loop and never come out. And you cannot, the number you're dividing cannot be above, I think it's 127 so you cannot use this bit here because the program checks this bit for overflow and suffice to say it just doesn't work. Alright, thanks for watching.